that's just a really big risk for us and a really big risk for anyone around us. Now on Local 5, students in Seymour are pushing back against a full return to in-person learning. Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle McCormack, Tom Zalaski has the night off. Just days after the Seymour Community School District decides in-person learning should go from two to four days, students are banding together to get their voices heard. And tonight, they're talking to Local 5's Erin Taylor. With the change in their plan, we would have, it wouldn't be possible to distance in classrooms. Brianna Patz and her brother Connor weren't happy with the Seymour School Board's decision to move away from hybrid learning. Now we're doing cohorts on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, so everyone would go back every day except for Wednesday. The district had been using that hybrid model for its middle and high school students since the beginning of the school year. Our goal has always been to get our students back in person as much as we can. And it really looked like our numbers were pretty stable and that this was about the time to try to add some additional days to our hybrid. At the high school, that means the amount of students in the building on a school day would double from 300 to 600. These students want a say in that decision decision making. We felt like when the school board made our decision, they didn't listen to what the students wanted. And so they've created a petition to pick the brains of Seymour's students. We have had people who contact us who are against this petition and they, we can talk with them and have conversations. The pair plan to collect student input and then share it with the school board. I think part of the reason the students wanted this petition is because I think they felt like maybe their voice wasn't heard as much. And we will make the best of our situation. We just want to give students an outlet. Now, if nothing changes, students here in Seymour will return to in-person instruction four days a week on February 15th. Reporting in Seymour, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. The petition officially closes next Friday. Brianna and Connor will then compile the data and share it with district officials. New tonight at 10. It's hotter than a Packers ticket, an appointment at the new mass vaccination clinic in Appleton. The Fox Cities Exhibition Center booked 1,000 appointments in just 15 minutes today. Unfortunately, more than 4,000 others were registered by mistake. Outagamie County will be contacting registrants over the weekend to confirm who actually has a vaccination appointment and who will have to wait. Wisconsin health officials expect an increase in vaccine deliveries next week. More than 476,000 vaccines have been administered statewide so far. 91,000 of those doses were second doses. There is some controversy, though, after a 33-year-old Milwaukee Bucks executive got vaccinated out of sequence. Alex Lazary says a relative who works at a senior center in Milwaukee called him when extra doses turned up that otherwise would have been wasted. Some of them may be kind of out of sequence. I would rather have that. And it's, it's going to be a small end. It's going to be a percentage of a percentage of a percentage. And... Uh, I'd rather have them do that than throw something away. The state requires all vaccinators to follow recommendations. If they repeatedly ignore them, they could be denied future deliveries. One of the most trusted voices in the fight against COVID-19 says he's encouraged by a third vaccine that is close to approval. Dr. Anthony Fauci says clinical trials show the Johnson & Johnson one-dose vaccine is 85% effective against severe disease. This has important potential and real implications, both domestically and globally. Although not as effective as the two dose versions, it's easier to transport and store. In other local news tonight, a huge animal seizure from one house in Brown County. The Wisconsin Humane Society has taken in a record number 160 animals from the case, including more than 50 pythons and more than 100 rodents. They are not up for adoption because they are evidence in the investigation, but the Humane Society does need some help caring for them. Well, it's the day RV enthusiasts worried would never come, but the rescued Green Bay RV show opened today. As Local 5 first reported, the Resh Expo put the brakes on the show over concerns about being able to maintain adequate COVID safety standards. Even though they just had mere days to organize a replacement event, Kunis RV in Swamico stepped in to provide a smaller scaled event that continues all weekend long. Well, it's hard to tell which is more incredible, the story or the storyteller. Stick around, you will be enthralled with this Navy veteran turned hometown hero.